Hey guys, Matt Bonner here today, and what I'm going to show you to do is how to properly lubricate your Rubik's Speed Cube. Now here I have a generic Speed Cube brand, Rubik's Cube, highly recommended. And you know, I've been on the internet, I watch tons of your, your guys' YouTube videos on how to like lubricate stuff, and you know, you all do it wrong. This is gonna be a proper method for how to use how, this Lubix stuff to lubricate your twisty puzzle Rubik's Cube magic puzzle thing. Now most people, when they're lubricating their Rubik's Cubes, they make the mistake of putting too much lube. Now a lot of people say you can never have too much lube, but what I have to say to them is that is just wrong and that's not what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little teeny bit right here, just the smallest physical dot you can think of, just like that, right? Actually, I think it might need a little more. I'm going to just put it all here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know, I think. Oh man, I forgot to butter it. Oh shit, 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 shit. I'm just gonna get some more butter on it. I'm gonna butter it all up. Nice, nicely done. And then what you gotta do, once you've finished all that, is you gotta put the piece back in. Just like that. And then this piece. Oh shoot, I broke the corner. Ugh. But essentially, you can see it's been lubricated just to the satisfactory of your persisting. Uh, hey, Alex? Yeah. Uh, can you stop the camera? Oh, my God. <laughs> also, we probably should have brought some paper towels. 